Hey everyone, I'm Shadow DTV, and today we're going to take a look at Far Cry 6. Before we get into it, make sure to like this video, let me know in the comment section what you think of the Far Cry series, and if you're excited or not about Far Cry 6. If you're looking for more great content like streaming tutorials and game reviews, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. Okay, let's check out everything we know about Far Cry 6. We're going to take a look at some gameplay, and right at the end of this video, you're going to see all the currently released trailers. As most of you already know, Far Cry is a beloved series made by Ubisoft, and Far Cry 6 is the latest iteration of this game series. The game's current release plan is for the 18th of February, 2021. In Far Cry 6, we will be going back to a fictional setting. Far Cry 6 leaves behind Far Cry 5's Montana and heads for a Caribbean-style theme in the fictional country of Yara. As with most Far Cry games, things are a little bit chaotic at the moment in Yara. The story setting will revolve around the evil dictator El Presidente. Amidst the rioting and violence, you will try to overthrow El Presidente. Again, as I said earlier, the game is slated for release on the 18th of February 2021. So let's take a look about what we know so far about Far Cry 6 and how it possibly may tie in with Far Cry 3. Far Cry 6 is the latest iteration of the shooter series, and as we know with previous Far Cry's, each game has been in a different setting with a different storyline. The game will be released for PC, Stadia, the PS4 and PS5, as well as the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X. This means we will be receiving Far Cry 6 on current and next gen consoles. In the reveal trailer that you will get to see at the end of this video, you will be introduced to the main villain, Yara's dictator Anton Castillo, and his son Diego. Anton is intent on suppressing a guerrilla revolution by any means necessary, and wants Diego to follow in his footsteps. In this trailer, you will see that Anton passes down a sinister lesson to his son Diego, telling him that he needs to keep a tight hold on the people of Yara. He teaches Diego this in a scary but real scenario by giving him a live grenade. I mean, I don't like to judge, but that seems like pretty bad parenting to me. As well as the reveal trailer, Ubisoft has also released a title sequence trailer for Far Cry 6 that lets us know a little bit more about Yara's history and potentially how the wealth has been gained through plants and pharmaceuticals. As you can probably see from some of this footage, Far Cry 6 setting is in a tropical nation. Although it is fictional, you can tell that parts of it are obviously influenced by Cuba. Ubisoft have stated that they believe that fans were ready to return to a tropical style setting. This is how they came to the decision and the creation of Yara. Ubisoft said that the nation's living postcard aesthetic and the vintage cars were obviously inspired by Cuba. Esperanza is the capital city of Yara and it is the first main urban environment in the game. Ubisoft have stated that the game will play a little bit differently from past games and from what we've seen and heard, it almost looks like an Assassin's Creed style game. In an interview, Navid Kavadi, the narrative director, said that the verticality is a complete game changer. Being able to run across rooftops, use back alleys, fight against some of the toughest opponents in the game in this setting, I think is really unique and fresh for the series. In the game, you'll play as a revolutionary named Danny Rogers. Ubisoft have said that you will be able to choose between playing as a man or a woman in the game. Depending on your choice, Danny will be voiced by either Sean Ray or Nisa Gundes. Kavari said that we knew that if we were going to tell the revolution story, we needed to tell a story about someone in a guerrilla movement. You need to have the personal connection with them. You need someone who's rooted in the world, who has a background. So we wanted proper performance capture. We wanted to have a real voice. A fan favorite from Far Cry 5 is the Guns for Hire, and you'll be happy to know that they're back in Far Cry 6. You'll be able to hire buddies to run around and fight alongside you. Amigos for Hire is the name of this in Far Cry 6, and one of the Amigoses that you can hire that we've seen revealed is a wiener dog named Chorizo. Ah, oh, look how cute he looks. Now, I don't know about all of you, but that's definitely who I'm picking. Now, although he looks cute and fluffy, I bet he's pretty mean when it comes to a fight. So, let's dive deeper into what the story in Far Cry 6 is actually about. So, we already know you'll be fighting in a revolution against Yara's dictator, Anton Castillo. But we know that Anton Castillo has been in power for 50 years. It's a dangerous time for the country of Yara. As you'll see in the trailer in a moment, you'll see the, that there's government agents with guns, riot shields, and you'll see civilians throwing explosives. 
Ubisoft has said that its writing team spent a lot of time in Cuba, getting to know the island and meeting former guerrilla revolutionaries that helped influence the game's story. Kavari from Ubisoft said, When you're looking at something as complex as an island that's been essentially cut off from the rest of the world for 50 years, been in an economic downturn, electing this leader on the back of this idea of building a new paradise, the idea with Anton is he definitely lulled people into believing this was the only answer for them, that he was the only one that was going to solve all their problems. And so for us, it became super interesting on the character side to explore the idea of, you know, there definitely were some people that voted for him, that believed in him, that are now regretting their choices. And there are those that still support him even after everything that's happened. The intersection of those demographics and worldviews and opinions is something that you will see play out in the story. Ubisoft has also said that Anton witnessed his own father being executed 50 years ago. This is part of how he rationalizes his policies and the views that he attempts to pass on to his son, Diego. He believes that not only do the Castillos deserve to be in power, but they are the only ones that are going to be able to see Yara through to becoming a paradise once again. Ubisoft haven't actually revealed how the main character, Danny, will become involved with the two Castillos, but I'm sure you can guarantee that they will be an integral part in the storyline. Now earlier you heard me mention that Far Cry 6 could somehow be tied in with Far Cry 3. And the fan theory that's currently floating around is that Diego in Far Cry 6 is actually a young Vas Montenegro. For those who don't know, Vas Montenegro is a character from Far Cry 3. And the link that's been made is as you'll see in the trailer, there is a scar above Diego's eyebrow, which we also see with Vas. Although this is something very small and could just be coincidence, Vas's voice actor Michael Mando teased a possible return to the role during a Reddit Q&A with some fans. He said that Vas is his spirit animal. Having co-created the character is something that will always be dear to him. He said he still gets recognized as Vas and he still feels the outpouring of love for the character. He said it makes him very happy and he ended that statement with, who knows, maybe I will reprise the role very soon. Vas is a fan favorite villain of the series. So I reckon people would be extremely excited and be able to connect with a return. Unfortunately, I think at the moment this is wishful thinking. As you're about to see in the trailer, you'll notice that Diego has what looks like modern headphones. Unfortunately, this wouldn't line up with the time frame of Vas being Diego. And from my intro, I'm sure most of you have already guessed it, but Giancarlo Esposito, the star of Breaking Bad, and more recently, Star Wars' The Mandalorian, will be a pivotal part of this storyline. Giancarlo Esposito will play the El Presidente of Yara. Well, I know it's not much guys, but that's all we know so far about Far Cry 6. The game will be released on the 18th of February 2021. Thanks so much for watching guys, you're about to see the trailers right now. Remember, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on Far Cry and if you're excited for Far Cry 6. I'm Shadow DTV and I'll see you next time. Fuerzas ultra penetrantes, estamos cansados de los farsantes, de los It's beautiful, amigo. Perfect, but useless. I have something for you, Diego. Give me your hands. Papa, Now, I... the grenade is simple. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, the pin. What are you doing? Breathe, Diego. Breathe. The pin simply holds the handle in place. It is only when you let go that this grenade goes boom. Follow me. Now. I am El Presidente, which means that someday you will be El Presidente. And our people, they do not know how to be happy. They are torn apart by opinions, noise, indecision. 
strangled by their own freedoms. And even if you have love in your heart, even if you want what's best for them, if you only want to save them from themselves, they will hate you, Diego. Everything you say, do, believe, will be wrong. They will answer you with screams. Call you evil. A monster. And give you this. So you tell me, are you evil? Are you a monster? Because our country is like this grenade, except it has two basic parts. Our people. And you. And you must clutch them nice and tight, or we all 